Oh no. <laughs> My chicks are at the post office and they were supposed to ship today but they arrived today so I'm making a mad dash because a lot of times in the post office it's kind of cool kind of cold like people are wearing jackets and stuff and you got baby chicks and so um I've got, I, I planned on having, going today and getting all of my supplies that I need for having baby chicks. And I don't have them. So we're running. Emma and I are making a mad dash to tractor supply. And um, then we're going to go to the post office and get the babies. Yay! The little fluffy bots. Lovers. I'm glad those are insulated. <laughs> last year that was the first time I saw her and every time she actually asked me for my ID which you know I'm glad but I need to remember next time take my ID and but um it's kind of funny the fact that you get in there you got birds chirping and it never fails you end up having a conversation with someone Wanting to know where, what hatchery you ordered your chicks from, and have you had luck with it, and then they start talking about how they incubate their eggs sometimes, and sometimes they put orders in, and um, so it's it's one of those where it's like this little hobby farming, homesteading tends to open up conversations with total strangers, nicest people. That is one thing I absolutely love about our little town. Yes, they have, we have the nicest people. We have the nicest people. I mean, we can go in the grocery store and, hey, how are you? You know, coming into Tractor Supply and um, a gentleman was walking out and he's, hey, good morning, even though it's 12.15. Um, it but, wasn't 12.15 when we were there. Uh, well, I wouldn't call that morning. But, you know, anyway, that's your dad coming out of me too. <laughs> getting technical. But um, it's just, it's fun living in a really small town. And I mean, we're growing. We're there putting up stuff left and right. But it's just, I, I like our little small town. We also have um, the town weirdo, <laughs> which I just found out that he is um, organized in his business is in our town. He is a singing telegram and I don't know if we can get a clip or put a spot in there but he's a singing telegram and he always has nothing on but a speedo. I've seen him in like our little town newspaper where he's been on the square at different times singing 
and it's like, you know, just the little town weirdo going on, entertaining everybody, but he will go, he will go and sing a telegram for birthdays or baby showers or whatever, but it's hilarious. I love our little town. I, I honestly, I don't know that I would want to live anywhere else. It's just, it's a neat little community with the Amish and just a diversity of people and it's pretty cool. So now we got to go home and scramble everything together and get these chicks. I thought you were about to say scramble eggs. No. <laughs> that would be. <laughs> no, no scrambled eggs. Um, but now we got to go home and, you know, get these chicks hydrated and get them healthy. I will keep them inside probably for the next several days just because it's kind of cold outside. Um, I want to get them off to a good start. I, I, I usually don't keep them. If I make it a week, that's a miracle because I, you know, our house is small and they dirty up really fast and it's like, well, I can't stand it. And it drives our cats crazy. <laughs> so, anyway, so let's go home. And I can't wait to see chicks. Oh, you can't really see. Oh, look at them. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, we made it home. I got a container in here. I got water and feed and the heat lamp. They're not going to stay in this room because if not, I mean, if they do, the cats will probably eat them. Um, so we are going to move them into our office slash throw all slash junk room. Um, but I just wanted to let you know, we got them home and, um, some of you might be wondering what breeds I got. I actually already have about 30 chickens and, um, adult chickens and we have an incubator that if I wanted more, I could hatch some out, but it's, it's a huge cabinet incubator and so it's hauling it in from the garage and um so i just i wanted to make sure i got all female i didn't want to have to deal with roosters it, this year i know is going to be really busy with the gardens and everything and so um and i wanted pretty layers i wanted layers that laid me really pretty eggs <laughs> so i ended up getting i can't even remember what all i got I ended up getting um, Americanas, Black Copper Morans, Blue Copper Morans, Cream Leg Bars, um, and Rhode Island Red Blues. Um, they are a different breed. I've never heard of that breed before. Um, it's not common. It's basically a cross between a Rhode Island Red and an Osterwort. So they're really, really pretty. So I'm hoping that they're really good layers, and if, which they should be because Osterworts and Rhode Island Reds are really good layers. They lay almost every single day. So I might end up getting more of those um, or just getting a batch of Rhode Island Reds and Osterlorp and doing my own and hatching them out. That probably would actually be cheaper. Um, and so, because I think I already have some Rhode Island Reds. But anyway, side point. So, we are going to keep them, like I said before, we're going to keep them in here for a few days and um, just get them on good sanding. We did have, I do have electrolytes and vitamin mix in their water. And they have to stay under the heat lamp until they fully feather out, um, which is, I can't remember, maybe seven weeks, maybe, maybe not that long. I don't remember. It's been a year, y'all. So we're going to get these babies out and get them under the heat lamp.
so that concludes our fun festive day. So for the next few days, possibly a week, they'll be inside my house driving me crazy. They're so cute. They're fluffy butts. They are cute. And watching for pasty butt. Um, that is usually a little bit of a struggle for um, store-bought hatchery bot chicks. Um, you don't deal with that at all when they're being raised by mama. But um, that's just something that's a part of it. So, but anyway, we will be enjoying these little babies for a while now. And I can't wait to see the colorful, magical eggs we get out of them. So until next time, like, subscribe, hit that button. Thanks for being with us and we'll see you later.